Friends, would you like to know what I did yesterday? Yesterday I went to the market and bought this new mic. Then I came home and rested for a while. After that I watched TV. And then I taught my son some new words. I taught my daughter some grammar. My son wrote five sentences and my daughter read a short story. Friends, I described to you the past events which took place yesterday. So I used these forms, verbs. I used action words and they are called as verbs. These action words were went, I went to the market, went, bought, came, rested, watched, taught, wrote, and read. So these action words are in a particular form. They are in the second form of the verb. When we are describing anything which is from the past, then we use the second form of the verb. We don't take any other word, just only one verb, single verb with only second form. So which is the first form of this went? So went first form is go go is the basic form bought buy is the basic form came come is the basic form rested r e s t then watched watch the basic form of taught is teach basic form of wrote is write and basic form of read is read. So friends, you will notice some difference. Went, basic form is go. Bought, buy, came, come. Rested, rest. Watched, watch. So here the basic form is without ed. Here the second form is ed. But here the second form is something different from the word that we have seen this. But here you will see that go becomes went. We haven't taken ed to go, but here we have taken ed, rested, watched. So there are particular action words which take ed and there are some action words which don't take ed. So we will have to study all such action words we do not take ed and we need to remember their second form, right? So like teach is the basic form. The second form became taught. Write, the second form became wrote. Read, the second form became read. So here in read and read, the only difference is the pronunciation. Read, basic form, and read is the past form. The spelling is same. So both these words have same spelling, but their pronunciation is different. When we are studying these second forms, we will come to know different forms, different changes in the spellings and the other rules. So friends, you should make use of second form of the verb whenever you are describing the events which took place in the past. So I have written here a few words. These are the second forms and let's make some sentences. And this tense is called as simple past tense. This tense is called as simple past tense because we are using the second form of the verb and we are describing the event which took place in the past. So let us study these examples. I lost my pen yesterday. I lost my pen yesterday. She found my pen. She found my pen. I got a prize. I got a prize. I spent thousand rupees yesterday. She sold her car. I made beautiful paintings. She told me a story. He wore a t-shirt. The thief broke the window. I took him to the garden. She brought some vegetables. I sat on the floor. She stood there silently. I gave five rupees to him. I slept early yesterday. 
Now let us know the basic forms of these verbs. Lost, lose, L-O-S-E, lose, found, find, got, get, spent, spend, S-P-E-N-D, spend is the basic form. Sell, S-E-L-L, -L, sell is the basic form, sell, sold, make, M-A-K-E, make, made, tell, T-E-L-L, -L, tell, told, W-E-A-R, where, wore, break, B-R-E-A-K, break, broke, take, T-A-K-E, take, took, bring, B-R-I-N-G, brought, sit, Yes, I T sit, sat, stand, stood, yes, T A N D stand, give, G I V, give, gave, and sleep, yes, L double E P, sleep, slept. So, friends, when we are describing the events of the past, we need to make use of the second forms only. So, there are some verbs which do not take ED, and these are some of the words which I have written here on the board which do not take ED. And they are called as irregular verbs, right? So there is a long list of irregular verbs. We will have to study their first forms, second forms, and friends, there is third form too. But we do not make use of the third form of such verbs when we are describing the events from the past. So this is just simple past. We are describing the past events and that's called as simple past past so i hope the simple past is clear and that is used to describe the events of the past thank you